Stability Analysis in Power System. Today we are going to discuss about the Equal Area Criterion Part 1. So the Equal Area Criterion is a graphical method to analyze the stability of the power system after a fault. Transient stability analysis of a simple system can be performed using this simple criterion which is called the Equal Area Criterion. So there are two situations for the changes in the torque angle del during the transient state. So the transient state in the sense the sudden disturbance to the system due to the fault. So the first case is a stable system. The torque angle del it increases to the maximum value and then decreases to a stable value. So the change in del with respect to time equal to 0 d del by dt equal to 0 at some time instant. And the second case it is an unstable system this del keep on increasing indefinitely so d del by dt is greater than 0 for sufficiently long time so in case of the transient analysis so the long time is uh, typically one second or more that it will be considered as a long time now consider the swing equation of a generator connected to infinite bus bar h by pi f into d square del divided by dt square equal to pm minus pe take this as a first equation now let there be a change in the electrical power p due to large disturbance but the pm remaining constant so the equation pm minus p that will be equal to the accelerating power so here the condition is the electrical power is changing but the mechanical power remain constant so pm minus p you will be getting the positive value so Pm minus P equal to the accelerating power Pa. So consider this as second equation. Now also we know that the per unit value of M that will be equal to H by pi F. So instead of uh, H by pi F in the swing equation, substitute the per unit value M. So hence the equation 1 can be rewritten as M into d square del divided by dt square that will be equal to the accelerating power Pa. So d square del divided by dt square equal to p a divided by m and this is your third equation. So considering this third equation multiply this equation 3 by 2 into d del by dt on both sides. So you will be getting 2 d del by dt d square del divided by dt square equal to 2 d del by dt into p a by m. So now split this uh, term d square del divided by dt square it become d by dt into d del by dt. So here you will be having d del by dt, two terms of d del by dt. So multiply that you will be getting d del by dt the whole square. The remaining term is 2 into d by dt. And this side it remains same 2 by m pa d del by dt. So simply you can cancel this dt and dt. You will be getting 2d into d del by dt the whole square equal to 2 by m pa into d del. So this is your fourth equation and this d represents the differentiation. So if you integrate this equation, you, this differentiation get cancelled. So on integrating this fourth equation, you will be getting d del by dt the whole square equal to taking the constant term out by m into integration of del naught to del p a d del. So where this del naught is your initial value of torque angle and to the actual value del. This is your fifth equation. On taking square root on equation 5, the square get cancelled so d del by dt equal to root of 2 by m integration of del naught to del p a d del and this is your sixth equation. Now for a stable system this d del by dt is equal to 0. So that means the sixth equation will be equal to 0. So root of 2 by m integration of del naught to del p a d del equal to 0. If this equation equal to 0 that means the integration part that is integration of del naught to del p a d del is equal to 0 then only the whole term will be 0 since this m is not equal to 0. It consists of the frequency term and it will, it will never be 0 so if this whole term equal to 0 means this integration part is 0. So equating that to 0 the term integration of del naught to del p a d del equal to 0 and this is your 8th equation. Now the condition of stability will be given as the system is stable if the area under P A del curve reduces to zero at some value of del and this is possible only if the positive area that is accelerating area under this P A del curve is equal to the negative area that is decelerating area under P A del curve 
for a finite change in del. Hence, this stability criteria is called equal area criterion. So, the two areas, one is accelerating area and decelerating area. When both these areas are equal, then the system is stable. And this condition we call it as the equal area criteria.